us to have a dream, it means we have nightmares and we have them all through the 54 countries. The, there is only one dream in the society that we live in and it is to get richer. Let, let's not even lie to ourselves. <laughs> we're working so hard. We're studying, we're getting our masters, PhDs, all of that good stuff. But at the end of the day, we're stuck in the houses chilling for some jobs to appear from nowhere. Give positive attitude and empower ladies, then you're empowering this country. Let me throw a needle in the haystack. Imagine 27 countries in Africa ruled by women. The reason you had to do an affirmative action here for women to speak is by itself an answer to that question. So that you have to say, let me first get a woman. No, 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 no. When they feel they are pinched enough and they would want to rise to the occasion, they will rise to the occasion. And that is how now they will get to that point. And maybe we'll make something. Me, myself, I got none to prove. The moment you get close to your child, you teach them the values, I think it will be better. Even if they supplement with this other education, it will be good for them. If you have to use education as a key, uh, it doesn't make sense when you tax things like books. Where should we start? I mean, what is the African dream? African dream is born out of negativity. Somehow that means that Africa is sleeping. It starts with you. I can't give you a dream. I have my dream. You have your dream. Our dreams put together can make Kenya the country we want, the continent of Africa, the continent we want and the world, the world we want. Thank you.